But speaking of stuff that certain people like and others don't, Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've beaten the first two. Oh, have you? Yeah. So you re- you you like the Bayonetta games? Yeah, the, I mean they're awesome games. They're made by Platinum. True, true. Like they're they're phenomenal games. I um, just I'm not saying that they are are not. No, but. no, I just mean like it's surprising because they look so stupid. And and they are fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. But it's that's the charm, right? Is it's like that um it's like that uh kind of like a B movie but a B game on purpose. Exactly. It's like a a Suda 51 game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, Shadows of the Damned or something like that where it's like it's not take it's so fucking ironically corny that it's it's over the top to like kind of you have to you know just embrace just, it. You just have to embrace it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Except that it's going to be silly, but it's going to be fun silly. Exactly. And you're fighting these huge fucking gods and shit. Like the the boss battles are sick and epic. I mean, Platinum Games just knows how to make like epic sized battles. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and their action games are good. So, I like them. I'm excited for part 3. Well, crap. Now I might have to play Bayonetta. I've just never had the desire before. But now, that kind of sounds like my jam. I think you'd like it. Balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean... So many things I gotta catch up on. Yeah, it's it's very, like, Devil May Cry, but then you get, like... You can, like, dodge through things, and then you get this thing called Witch Time, which basically is, like, a moment of invincibility. So you're constantly oh. trying to dodge through things, but then there's this unreal amount of combos that you can do as well. Your Spartan mode. Exactly. Well, no, you're constantly doing it. So you're, like, trying to be dodging through everything and not get hit at all, and then it ranks you at the end. So it's, like, oh. it's basically a, a Devil May Cry game reskinned as you're a British witch fighting God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, sounds great. And the government. It <laughs> means same difference, right? Oh. Oh. I'm sure that somebody wrote a song about that. But um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Separate church and skate. Oh, I hit my hand. <laughs> you can't do that. We're gonna get those awesome long freaking handlebars. That's true. You gotta get the pews to skate down. Yeah. <laughs> You know, just sanding down the pews, making them more comfortable. Pew, pew, pew. That's what I don't know. Call pews. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every time you finish one, pew, pew. Perfect. Now that we've solved that mystery. Yes. Uh, so Bayonetta. We almost did not talk about the fact that Bayonetta had that weird voice actress. Yeah, the controversy thing. Controversy. Is that my phone? I almost moved on. My phone's just going wild right now. These guys I guess so. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that shit's crazy. Like, so, so because yeah, at first she was all up saying that she was only offered four thousand dollars. So the original voice actress has played Bayonetta for the last ten years or whatever, eight years for two games though. Well, right? that and Smash Bros. And then she did voices for some other oh, like, like fill in stuff. But she's been the the actress for Bayonetta this whole time. Okay. But she hadn't done any other jobs in between. So it's not like she had like an impressive resume. Resume or anything. It's like she just was Bayonetta and I think she's just banking on being Bayonetta forever. Mm. I let the money change me a lot. I don't remember the exact sum that they found out that she was offered, but originally she came out and made claims that they had only offered her four thousand dollars for this project. Which is crazy. Wait, I mean, but it, it's I I don't know I I really don't know I don't I don't know what a reasonable amount of money is, but it's like you right know, if you think about it, it's like a week or two worth of work because it's like a script is written, you're in a booth, it's not like you're on set fucking. And weren't people also talking about well, what if she's doing motion capture or not doing motion she's capture? Not. Yeah, right. Uh, it was a whole thing, but then I think recently we learned. Uh, but, oh, I should. Also mentioned that she was trying to call for a boycott because they weren't paying her what she was worth. That's true. And now we're learning that she was actually paid or offered a really, like, decent sum. Right. What the heck was it around? Uh... Oh, here we go. They're, they're not pushing it because originally all the news outlets were like, rah, 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 we got to back up this. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. I can't believe that they would do her like this. This isn't fair. And then it's like, oh, because it's a fucking lie. Dude, stop talking about it. We got to stop talking about it. Yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> so they hide it. 
Yep, now it's hard to find all this shit. Oh, my shit died. I oh, told no. you, I knew it was going to die. But anyhow, they, they, they offered, apparently, uh, allegedly, they offered her more money than that, and she declined the role, and then they offered it to somebody else, and then she was like, but wow, I'm Bayonetta. I can't believe you're doing this to me. No, Uncle Andros. No. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... And now it's like, boo-hoo, lady, you fucking, you burnt the bridge, you ding bat, and oh. now she'll never get work again. What? Sources told Bloomberg the actor who said she was lowballed was offer at, offered at least 15000 And she says that's a lie. Ooh. The plot thickens. Actually, I don't know. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm sure there was a written offer. She already broke the fucking NDA. So it's oh, like, yeah. She's never getting that job again. So, yeah, at this point, at this point, just release the, the original offer because it comes in written form. You have to sign a fucking contract. Right. So... And didn't they... They ended up picking up a lady that was uh, more popular? Yeah. Yeah. So she just has done a lot more games. But, yeah, I don't... I'm not into the voice actress voice actor like great work guys fucking right i was gonna i love i love it all but i don't have the time to like get to know you all like celebrities and shit jennifer hale Mm. is the new one you betcha which a lot of people know i don't personally but yeah yeah i don't like i said i know like nolan north because he's been in five bajillion games and because he's been you know his name's just drilled into my head so maybe eventually i'll learn jennifer hale's name a little better but I, I, again, I'm not the. Although I appreciate the work, like I would just as soon be as interested in the 3D animators, right? The animation team, as much as the voice acting team. I think they're equally out- talented in different ways. So I'm not. I, I don't really like. I don't know. I don't see the appeal of voice actors as much. Right. It's just not my thing. I mean. Uh, except for uh they bring the characters to life. <sighs> and maybe I'm just a piece of shit. I don't think so. I might uh, but uh, what I'm saying is I think the entire development team including the voice actors are maybe not equally important but there are definitely some you know what I mean like the modelers, the character designers, the fucking the writers. Like who's the most important in this hierarchy hierarchy of creating a game and like why is it the voice actors who become the celebrities because of the voice of the character you love this character well this dude wrote it and this dude fucking i, I mean i guess that's how it's always been though right like yep it is what it is but uh, a voice is a little different than like an actor actor yeah it's a little different but at the same time like rob paulson has always kind of been one of my favorites but that's because he was in so many things like the ninja turtles animaniacs like G.I. Joe and like everything for a while. Mm. That makes sense. And, and it's but, not that I don't respect the work. Right. You know I'm just saying, I, mean? I think each like g- little group of people have a person, okay. is what I'm trying to say. So, like, uh-huh. you're not going to know all of the voice actors, but, you but every know a couple. Yeah, everybody's got like either one or two that they might know really well. True. That's true. I think that's a good point. Yeah. It's because... like, I only play fucking. Undertale. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I know uh, Felicia Day. Oh, well, there you go. That's all you need to know. That's my example. That's not me. I don't know who Felicia Day is. Who Who is Felicia Day? Nobody knows. Oh. Except for the people who play Undertale. Hold on. Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very re- confused. This is a real. This is a real meta joke. I'm. I'm saying I both don't like Undertale and I don't like <laughs> Felicia Day. And but you so, know both. <laughs> but I know about both of them enough to know that if I put them together, it's something that I double don't like. Mm. It's and the thing is, is I'm just a hater. I see, and I recognize that. But there's just certain things that I think, and I'm not saying Undertale's bad, and I'm not saying Felicia Day are bad. What I'm saying is, I think they both are way too fucking popular. That's it. I think they it's way too, <laughs> way too popular. <laughs> Oh, Felicia Day. Yeah. Okay, I got you. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you want to catch the whole podcast, it's going to be right here on YouTube every single Thursday. We'll see you there.